Hey, Justin Julian here. In a recent running specialist report, we discussed using running watch data to get a better idea of how athletes run. I am going to share with you three running watch data points for runners that are especially helpful. They include ground contact time, vertical displacement, and flight time. To better understand how these metrics affect runners, let's compare Usain Bolt's running gait to Iliad Kipchoge and then discuss the metrics you would expect from a recreational distance runner. Here's Usain Bolt's running. As you can tell, he has a very long flight time. Also, he has minimal ground contact time and minim minimal vertical displacement. He has significant hip flexion and extension with elements of overstriding. Also, his heels barely touch the ground and he extends his legs forward past the point of initial contact. It's important to note that Usain Bolt's running is at a sprint in max speed. Therefore, he is not worried about his poor running economy, and his form reflects that. Let's now look at Ilya Kipchoge's running form. As you can see, he is running at a slower speed, but has much better running economy. There are no elements of overstriding. His tibial shank is almost vertical in initial contact. He is running with minimal heel strike and has significant hip extension, resulting in a lot of power generation with each step. However, compared to Usain Bolt, he has longer ground contact times, less flight time, and slightly more vertical displacement. Now, compared to an average distance runner, Ilya Kipchoge has excellent ground contact time, vertical displacement, and flight time. Let's orient ourselves to this chart comparing these running data parameters. The lower your ground contact time means you are running more efficiently with more power generation in each step. Usually, we want to keep recreational runners under 300 milliseconds. Runners should also have a high flight time. Flight times should be between 0 and 50% of your ground contact time. And the vertical displacement for running uh, efficiently should be low. Recreational runners should not exceed 9.7 centimeters. As you can see, these numbers, you seeing Bolt's ground contact time was 86 milliseconds, Ilya Kipchoge's was 190, and a recreational runner would be at 260. As you can see, flight times were 145 milliseconds for Usain Bolt. Ilya Kipchoge was 80 milliseconds, and a recreational runner would be at 65. Lastly, Usain Bolt's vertical displacement was at 4.5, Ilya Kipchoge was at 6, and average runners are between 8.2 and 9.7. So what can we learn from these different running analyses? Well, Usain Bolt's running gait analysis didn't show he was overly efficient, but had great power generation at a high speed, which is why he had a great ground contact time, flight time, and vertical displacement. However, Ilya Kipchoge had efficient running economy with good metrics for ground contact time, flight time, and vertical displacement compared to average runners. Therefore, while running watch data is helpful for clinicians, we must pair that with a runner's gait analysis and then reference their overall speed to get a complete picture of the athlete's running.